Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of the Gentleman's Picks Club. Today, we are playing Scramble from Champ Games, and they truly make some brilliant, brilliant games. Imagine if you could go back in time to when the Atari 2600 came out and say, you know, you can play a game that's been created in, I don't know, 2023, which would be like 40 years, oh, well, more than 40 years from when that console came out. What would the differences be? And Champ Games really show you the differences by the work and effort they put into their games. But it does come with a warning, a buyer beware. We are playing this on the Stellar Emulator. The Stellar Emulator works absolutely fine, no problem for any of their games. The Mr. FPJ, which some of you will have, does not work on this. So when you go to the site, if you want to play their games, have a look to make sure you're getting a platform that actually works for it, or you own a platform that works for it. If you own a real Atari 2600, a physical Atari 2600 from back in the day, it will work on that as well because they do the physical cartridge and they do the digital ones. But these digital files do not work on all different platforms. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the Stellar Emulator. So, this, oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. This is our settings for the Stellar Emulator. Um, I want to show you this because we've got this little bit here, which is blend. I'm, well, I'm doing the little circle here. And with that blend, that is set to 60% for this game. And it allows some of the graphics to look a little bit better because Atari 2600 flicker graphics at time, which I believe was a sprite swapping in and swapping out. And with that blend, with this phosphor, it takes some of that away. So if you want to get the same view that you see on this video be sure in your stellar settings that you've got that so we're saying okay to start the game we're close in fact let me just show you the version of the emulator as well so you know what version we're using here and then we close that and we close that and off we go how far can we invade the scramble system so fire to start and this is our little hero on the top of the screen i first played this game in the british airways concord center um, they had a cocktail version of this. Obviously, it was on the Atari 2600 version, but I believe I've played Scramble before in the past, a long, long time ago. Probably wasn't very good at it back then, so we'll see what we could do here. We'll see what we could do here. Champ Games, I love the stuff they do on the Atari 2600. I've got a few games of theirs. You know, oh, I die, I die so easy. I've got a few games of theirs, and I'm very happy with those games. We're not playing them all at once on the channel because I've spaced them out. You know, we played Turbo Arcade a little while ago. Um, we've played the Super Cobra Arcade, which is one where I actually didn't realize it was a, a company that was still in existence and selling that game, which is why I went and bought the original. You know, I'm very fond of little indie companies and stuff like that. And if I ever do a mistake of playing a game that I don't physically own, I will go out and buy it. Anyway, our job, let's try and get over 10,000 points on here, which is on the high score table. So fire, fire, fire. So Gary, um, I've been obviously looking at some of the text. We've been talking uh, a little bit, uh, you know, over this weekend in terms of, you know, bits and pieces and some of your suggestions about the channel. Um, and you know what why uh, the views are not as high as they can be I've had a lot of thinking about this um, and you know I think part of the reason is we've actually diversed and we do a lot more than what we were originally doing on the channel so you're in a position where you know this this channel is great for some people that love spectrum games but you know what they may not care about the PC games and because we're so diverse in what we're doing you know you're, you're in a world now where you know the amount of subscribers that you've got compared to the amount of views you get doesn't really tally up and even if you look at some of the big channels that have got millions of views you know they may only get you know 30,000 sorry not millions of views a couple of millions of subscribers you know that they may only get 30 40,000 videos um, you know on, on, on each video they do so you will always have a lot more subscribers than what you what we have views but this is a community we're building here we're slowly building and you know I've taken on board some of the things that you said about the descriptions as well so I'm updating the descriptions on you know the new videos that I do that, that they will get a bit better updates in terms of you know what it says on there try and be a little bit more descriptive now some of you will have been noticing as well that the title cards that we have on the channel are swapping around a little bit this is because youtube has a feature which is basically a test feature so you could upload multiple um test cards so multiple uh, uh title cards and the multiple title cards you've got it will display them 
and they want to cycle here and you know the first one we did was about 14 days ago and soon we'll get the results of that because it's a 14 day cycle they've got and it's basically test and compare the multiple title cards you have oh we got we got extra life we got extra life the multiple title cards that you have um, it will see which perform the best and maybe you can make or I can make decisions um, based on that and also looking at the channel you know, set, looking at some of the settings and the things like that we've got I noticed that I had some settings very very wrong on this channel and they've been wrong since day one and it was holy hell you know I didn't know what I was doing back then you could argue I don't really know what I'm doing now either because this is just purely a hobbyist channel so with, with that with that in mind we're in a position where again I've made some changes you know it shouldn't affect you know things generally uh, but it might bring a few more people in and why do I want to bring people in it's not for money this is completely non monetized it's just for the exposure and just to build the community that we've got we've got a beautiful little community that we have now but you know new blood is always good old returning blood is good as well um, so yeah, if anybody who used to be here, who isn't here now, gives this channel a different go by, a new go by the title cards or something, and they pop across, so they think, oh yes, I remember the Gentleman's Pixel Club, and you know, they come along, then absolutely great, I need to get that fuel down, I missed it, because this is quite hard here, holy hell, this is hard. Come on, I'm going to run out of fuel, I think, I've got to, I've got to, oh there we go, we go, yes! This is not easy. Oh, cities! We're in cities now! What city are we in? I hope this isn't Barnsley. Oh dear lord, I hope it's not the greatest of Barnsley. We don't want to destroy Barnsley. Barnsley! Barnsley is the uh, capital of the United Kingdom, if you're not familiar with our great country. Ignore what they say on the maps about London and stuff like that. A huge misprint has happened. But no, we're, we're flying above Barnsley at the moment. Very badly. Oh, I thought that I thought that was going to get us that rocket that we had there at the top. Um, it didn't. Well, you can say what rocket? Because there's loads of rockets at the top, but this is getting intense. So if you're still with me, Mr. Saunders, if you're listening to this, I've saw your comments on. Um, you know, oh my, damn it, I died. Seventeen thousand one hundred eighty, Mr. Saunders. I saw your comments on um some of the pitfall games as well yes i'll absolutely take a look at that so this game auto saves on the stellar emulator you can see a couple of goes that i had before on this and truth be known that was a failed video yes it was a failed video for some reason the audio didn't work so i had to reboot the system and then the, the system that i captured the audio on you know did it for me so you know sometimes we still have mistakes going on videos never mind youtube cities we did a couple of years ago but i want to have another go at this this was marvelous so you know champ games create wonderful games and you know it, it just flows this one it really really does you know, it's good, solid, honest fun. It really, really is. Okay, the first time I played this, you know, obviously I didn't get... Oh, I died so early. Um, the first time I played this uh, on the earlier video, I kept dying by running out of fuel. So I'm trying not to run out of fuel by making a point of keeping an eye, not on the fuel at the bottom, but if I see any of those fuel pods, I'm trying to blow them up. And I miss them. You know, your, your bombs do this funny little art thing that you have here. So, you know, it, it takes a little while to get to get it right. But if we can shoot them like that, then that works as well. Okay, well, we're going to be fairly near there. Oh, no, no, we've got to get by a missile. Oh, my God, we're still on stage one. I was about to say we're fairly near the end of the stage. Um, I thought we were actually on stage two at that point. But, oh, my God, no, still stage one. Alright, we need to focus now. This is a very, very poor shot. Oh, oh, oh. I don't deliberately do that. I don't deliberately do that. That is a very, very poor show. Alright, let's try and get above 8,000, at least with this, this, this little ship. Ah, yes, yes, we got you. And by you, I mean a fuel pod. You get more points if you get the rockets in flight. Oh, 
Oh, there's our 8,000. Oh, 500, no. 650 points. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can do maths. Uh, away from uh, a high score. All right. We have one more go of this, and I'm going to play in a beautiful silence. And by beautiful silence, there might be a bit of swear when I die, but I want to get another high score, which is 10,000 points or more. Let the silence begin. The silence of the gentleman. There you go. That's a film. Not the silence of the lamps. The silence of the gentleman where I actually play, and I don't talk. Or can you imagine it? A video of no talking for me. You know, silent gameplay. Uh, maybe it's slightly mild silence gameplay, but yeah, I'm giving this a silent run, so there is going to be very, very little talking um, going on here. You know, you want to focus, yeah. You want to be the best that you can be. And sometimes when you're playing and you're doing multitasking, you know, it just doesn't really work out that well. So, no, I'm going to give this my best shot. No pun intended. Um, and try not to get blown up. On the uh, Stellar Emulator that I'm using here, this actually uses two fire buttons, so I'm not 100 percent sure how that would work on a real Atari 2600. I suspect it would detect that you've actually got, um, you know, one joystick and fire both at once. So Super Cobra Arcade that had missiles and bullets firing as well. Um, oh, die, 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 die. Yeah, that had that had all these firing as well. You could be, you just hit one fire button and it worked for you. Oh, we died, we died. So, you know, I, I'm trying to do a silent run for this. And we ran out um, of space. We nearly ran out of fuel as well. I was busy focusing on the fuel um, while being as silent as I can be to be sure that, that we can make it. Come on. Oh, again, I can't shoot you. But... We've, the beauty of what's happened here, we've had, we hit a fuel tank, that's not the beauty of what's happened, or well, that is always the aim. You know, we've started a new life, so we had new fuel. Oh, we've got an extra life as well. Behold, we have done the 10,000 points as we silently play and crash into a wall. All right. Oh, I missed that one. Holy hell, that wasn't supposed to happen. Right, 13,000 points may be coming. Oh, they're there already. Fourteen thousand points. Okay, sweaty joystick time. So I'm actually being a little bit quieter now because I've noticed I'm actually might have a chance to get a little bit higher score than what we wanted. You know, we might make it to the top if we are lucky. Okay, we're in the meters now. You can't damage them. Okay, 17,920. Is that a good score? Yes! That's a brilliant score. So yeah, had a lot of fun playing this. I really, really did. Champ Games, yet again, you've hit this out of the park with your virtual scramble. Truly, truly wish I had a time machine for all the great things I could do with it. I would actually just love to take games like this back to the past, plug it into an older Atari 2600 and say, how do you like those apples? Um, you know, it would be absolutely excellent to see people's faces on what people are currently doing with old technology today. It really, really would be great and you know what if i can recommend having a look at videos have a look at turbo arcade um that they've done you know that was a great game that was a wonderful wonderful game um have a look at uh super cobra 
arcade um, as well. You know, those are both games that Champ Games have done. Take a look at those. You know, this company knows how to get the best out of an Atari 2600. Anyway, beyond that, all of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.